Oh, blessings, everyone. I'm Kelly Ordway, and I'm super honored to have the opportunity and the responsibility of sharing my voice with you today. <laughs> I, as a community member in a grassroots way, developed a project called Refill Not Landfill, which is a network of free water refill stations throughout our community, where you can go into any of the listed locations and you can refill up your water bottle for free with no obligation of purchasing anything with the intent to eliminate or reduce um, plastic, disposable plastic. So a friend of mine had gone to Cambodia and she had a water bottle and they had had the problem in that country with massive amounts of disposable plastic water bottles piling up in the beauty that everybody was traveling there for. So um, they started a project called Refill Cambodia and um, started when everybody came into the country, the hotels or wherever they were staying would sponsor, they'd um, get a water bottle, they would print the hotel logo on one side and on the other side it said refill not landfill and had a list of the water refill stations that they could go to locally. And um, that expanded so well and throughout the country and um, around surrounding countries that it's now called Refill Asia. So I was feeling a deep call to take action for our planet. And I saw this as a really beautiful way that we could integrate this in our society. And since I feel like we have a really deep infrastructure that we have so many water bottles already, I um, did not go the route of just um, water bottle distribution, but just started walking around our community to see where we could set up refill stations to see what already existed. So Amtrak station, the water fountains in the park, Nelson's Hardware, um, other people actually went to the initiative to put it in their um, businesses like Chill Clothing, um, Sportsman Ski House already had one in their new uh, store in Kalispell, the Ice Rink and Whitefish already had one, so just coffee traders had like a you know water dispenser you could use. So I just walked around and asked people if they would be interested in participating, putting them on a list on a flyer and on the Climate Smart Glacier Country website and ask them if we could collaborate to get the word out. So there is a network of water refill stations that we know we can go to and refill our water bottles and um, also use that, utilize that for our tourism. And so I just took a lot of time this summer to connect with my family and then started reaching out to see how did, how did this actually work. And um, it really depends on the engagement of the location. Um, and really like connectivity with people, connectivity with each other. So um, Jesse was really amazing at Montana Coffee Traders and um, they decided not to sell disposable water bottles. And she said, I can't tell you how many people came up to me all summer and said, I, I noticed you don't have water for sale. And she said, yeah, we, you know, we set up this really amazing water refill station and you're welcome to refill, refill any water container you have. Bring it in and refill any water container we have. If you don't have one, we have some for sale. And there's cups that you can reuse while you're in our uh, business. And she said, almost everybody said, oh my god, I totally have a water bottle in my car. I'm going to go get it. So it's helped like, connecting with compassion, non-judgmentally, and um, helping taking that time to actually connect and educate each other. Um, and I would love to see this duplicated. Um, in every community. I've mostly focused on whitefish because I'm a mother of two young children and have many other responsibilities, so that's where I am most of the time. But we have some places in Kalispell and Columbia Falls, and uh, I don't have ownership over this. I want this to be all of ours ownership. So please take this into your community, help us expand it where we already have it, and um, spread the word to your friends. We have, we have friends worldwide. So I think it's a very potent way to bypass the plastic problem and find new solutions. Um, I also wanted to touch on what I feel is the essence of some of these issues. So to me, sustainability is about retraining our habits and lifestyles from the illusion of comfort and ease, the mentality of disposability is our planet, is the future of our children actually disposable? So 
Um, I feel it's time to look within our own lives to our own sacred responsibilities. And when we point the finger outward, there's three more pointing back at ourselves. So really looking at what, how we're part of the problem. And whether we're looking outside or inside, as I said before, let's do it with just the clarity of loving compassion. Like, maybe we don't know. Maybe we didn't know this possibility. I know there's different times in my life where I had no awareness of um, what I ate, what I purchased, what I did with my, with my waist. So just doing it really with loving kindness and helping engage and uplift each other. It can be painful to see how we are actually contributing to the problem. So let's be kind to ourselves and one another as we actually heal our consciousness of disposability and move forward as good relatives. When our hearts ache for the future of our children, be with nature. When we rejoice in the gift of life, be with nature. When we look for solutions to the problems that we ourselves have created, be with nature. We often fear the unknown, yet we will not destroy that which we are intimately connected with and treasure so deeply. That which is actually a part of us. So bring, that, bring our children into nature to know her cycles, to learn, to remember, and to play. Notice how we are with like, nature. We have, we have a recreational um, it's a big component of our society. And so being aware of our, our words, are we here to bag peaks and slay fish? Or are we here to observe and remember and awe-inspiring admiration and gratitude, our connectivity, and to feed our families? Be with nature until we truly understand again that everything we do to nature, we do to ourselves. And that everything we do to ourselves, we do to nature. Human nature. We are one and the same. So I want to really just extend my deep gratitude to everybody who took the time and presence to be here today. I know that um, we're all care be here because we care so deeply. And I appreciate your awareness and your efforts and the way we all live our lives. I want to close with some reflections to take home with us. Why do we call this planet Mother Earth? How are we treating our very own mother? How are we acting as her children? How do we personally contribute to the very problems that we're trying to solve? What can we do to heal, to shift, and to take positive action? And what are we willing to make the priority? And lastly, I have a beautiful message from Thich Nhat Hanh. When we walk like we are rushing, we print anxiety and sorrow on the earth. We have to walk in a way that we print only peace and serenity on the earth. Be aware of the contact between your feet and the earth and walk as if you are kissing the earth with your feet. So there's a certain energy that can be present in activism. And um, I love my friend <laughs> in Australia. She says, I am an active positivist. <laughs> Let's move to, together in beauty. Thank you.